we finally got our snow day so I'm gonna show you guys three things that you can do on a snow day this is Sandy White from Sandy Fit your number one health and wellness cheerleader guess what we got a snow day and so I thought let me share with you guys some things that you can do on a snow day on any day to keep yourself healthy specifically on snow days because we take advantage of it we binge we do stuff that we shouldn't do and i don't know why humans think that we are like uh, bears we do not hibernate we do need to go out so a lot of people are wondering how do i gain so much weight during the winter time well, you're sitting there eating and you're not paying attention. And then you're wondering, then not only how, how did you gain weight, but why does my skin look the way it looks? Why am I sick? You know, things of that nature. So fast forward, here's some things that you can do mainly in the wintertime, but during any season. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do I'm going to show you all is use the Navage. This particular, they, they come in pods like this. This particular one is the eucalyptus. It, I like it versus using the normal one. Um, I'm just a little weird. I want to make sure I can feel it working. So you're going to feel, if you've ever dealt with eucalyptus, you know it has a, um, like a minty smell, but if you've ever inhaled it, how that feels, it's not a, it's not a bad sting. It's like a good sting. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it just, for me, it feels good and I like it. And I use it all the time because I'm in the East Coast. I'm on the East Coast and they have a lot more going on because there's more people here, more cars, more small, more everything. So, I typically do this on a regular basis. This is what you have to put the pod in. This is a Novage little container. From there, you have to put water in to get up to this line. Y'all can see that. It's a line. It tells you how much water you have to put in there. So we're going to do that now. And I'm actually going to show you all how to use it. I'm going to make probably a little bit of a face <clears throat> because it does sting a little bit, but again, it's like a comfortable sting. All right, so I'm going to get started. So you take these two little things, you stick them in your nostrils, and I'm going to, and it takes seconds. So I'm this way, so you can see the water coming out of here. It goes through here, cleans out your nostrils, and then the impurities go in the bottom. Here we go. And I can still talk while this is going. And as you can see, it is done. You get the excess water out, and then you can see all the little nasties that are in there. And this is from toxins in the air, in your home, uh, whatever going in your nose so you do need to clean that so then you take this little piece and be careful with it snap it out clean it out and I saw that water coming out <laughs> and then you're done that was like 30 seconds this is the Navage these are the pods they have another flavor and they have normal. So like regular salt water. And then this is a eucalyptus. I don't recall what the other one is. I just like the eucalyptus. So it stings more when you have a lot more impurities in your nasal passage. So I do recommend that you clean your nose out daily. Once in, This is what I do. Um, so I don't have challenges and I notice when I don't clean it out, I get all the fluid puffiness here, up in here, and that's a sign of sinusitis. So don't want to have sinus challenges. 
And this is a good option if you're constantly going to the doctor for sinus challenges. So you know if it's like puffiness over your eyebrows, your eye is like squishy when you blink it, you got a lot of puffiness under eye, you need to start cleaning out your nasal passage. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next one that'll help you out, especially in the summer seasons and brutally, brutally necessary in the winter. And if you are a skier, you know about this one. All right, let's move to the second one. Before we move to the second one, what you want to do periodically, and I would say every other day, take these off, the ones that go on your nose, and then simply clean them out. Because you don't want mucus or any impurities stuck in here, because all you're doing is pushing whatever's stuck in here back in through your nose. Most likely it's not going to stay, um, because this is a suction, so one side pushes the water through, the other one sucks it out, so it'll grab everything, but it's just still kind of gross. So the whole unit comes apart, make sure you just clean it. So our next one is going to be moisturizer on your skin. I really like Olay. Now they have a combination because I was getting the vitamin C, which is really good for your skin, and then the normal one that they have, which is just to keep your skin moisturized. So I don't have to do this. It's called Super, but you can use any brand. And I'm not getting, I'm not a spokesperson for Olay. You can use any brand that you need. Just make sure that you're moisturizing your skin. And the reason I like the vitamin C is because it's a combination. You still have the sun coming out. A lot of you guys don't put sunscreen on. And then guess what? The way you put your hats on, your sunshades on, if you're skiing, if you're just going out and about. So now you're getting tanned up here because a lot of people don't realize you do. You can get a tan um, from being in the sun in the winter time. So if you use the vitamin C, that'll keep your skin even toned. And this particular one comes with a Doppler and you can literally just put the dots wherever you need it on your skin and rub it in. The crucial one, I like Aquaform. I am not a spokesperson for them as, uh, either, but this one is a healing ointment. And I don't know if you guys have ever had this challenge before where it's super dry, whether it's winter or summer, and your lips crack. Now they don't just crack where you're like, oh, the skin is feeling. They crack down so bad that you don't even want to talk. So you don't need a lot. And you could probably barely see this. I have a little bit on here. And literally just take it and put it over your lips. If you're running your air, your heat at night, it can dry your skin out. So you know combination of things. You're dehydrated and you need to put moisturizer on your skin. You throw this dry in the morning time. You see your hair is dry. Your skin is dry. Get up in the, in the morning. I thought I left one in here. This one is empty. The first thing in the morning. Just drink about eight to 16 ounces of water and then take some moisturizer and like you can get up and you'll see the cracks all in the inside of your lips. You know, that's kind of harsh. And then you start talking and then they just split. <sighs> oh my God, that is so painful. So make sure you put the moisturizer on your lip. Do it at night, do it in the morning time. And for you ladies, try your best. I am not perfect at this, but try your best not to sleep with your makeup on. What I found for me, the worst when I do that, I don't get the breakouts. Most of you all have had challenges with the skin breakouts. What happens is the eye shadow gets somewhere in the pores of my eyelashes and then I'll wake up with like, it 
looks like I put pink shadow on the top and the bottom. I don't have pink eye. It's like super swollen because I, and I only, it's weird. I only get it on the left eye, right eye, pardon me. I leave it on the eye mascara, the, you take it off. Just, just take it off. Two seconds, take it off. You don't have the uh, cleanser for your skin. Like this is the oil-free makeup remover. Very easy to get it off. If you don't have that, you can literally take this aquaforum, rub it all over your face, get a some cotton balls or the makeup remover pads. They're, they're probably, well, they're not as big. They have some as big as the palm of my hand. But they've got some that are fairly big and literally just wipe the stuff off. This is really good. I like, this is, I don't have a makeup remover and this is, Pretty much, what do they have, all of this? This is, well, they say it's oil-free, but it's Neutrogena, not a spokesperson for them either, but it looks like it's like oil and water, some soap in there, I don't know, but it works like magic. If you don't have this, try this. Just make sure you go to bed with your makeup on. And I got the last tip for you. <laughs> and my, my husband says my feet feels like sandpaper and I'm scratching. When I found is skin off so for me I guess you all can kind of guess what the third one is I'm going to show you that one right after this so I'm sure you guys figured out what the last one was when I said my husband said my feet feels like sandpaper it's your feet your feet I don't know what it is, I guess you all think, because you're putting socks on them and all of that, and they're out of sight, out of mind, but you need to take care of your feet. I love the Aquaforum, so when you get to taking a shower, you can put the Aquaforum up. If you don't have that, ugh, not only will you smell good, but your feet will feel so good. So if you don't have that one, heel balm. But I don't just use it on my heels. I use it all over. Now, I know a lot of you all are like, I'll just go to, you know, the, the spa and let them scrape. If you take care of your feet, that's less scraping of your skin. Some of you all, your feet are so dry, you have like deep cracks that they're so deep that the person doing your feet, your pedicure, they have no choice but to take that. It's like a razor and just literally scraping off your skin. If you just use this daily, now, according to um, Flextol, you'll see visible results in a day. And I don't let my feet get that horrible where I need someone at the pedicure facility taking the razor blade and scraping off my skin until my skin is even because the cracks are so deep but this stuff works and I don't use it every day for me for my feet I don't have to use it every day but I try to use it every other day because I rotate between and it looks like this so this is a box and it comes like this. So you don't need anything but like a little bit of a dab. It, it really does work. And if you don't have this, I'm gonna put this on my feet too. You can use the oil. The Johnson's Baby, you can use this all over your body. You don't, and if you all didn't um, already pick up on this, if you use this all over your body and then you use your perfume, it almost like it enhances the smell. Even if you use the Aquaforum, the same thing. But I'm going to use this on the bottom of my feet just so I can get this off. Guys, clean your nasal passage, moisturize your skin, your face, your eyes. Take the makeup off using one of the makeup remover options the Neutrogena oil-free, the Aquaforum. You know what, you can even use the baby oil if you use a Q-tip, you know, around your eyes. And then take care of your feet. 
You can take the baby oil, put it around your cuticles, on your fingers, on your toes. You have to stay moisturized or you will regret it. All right, guys, this is Sandy White from Simply Fit, your number one health and wellness cheerleader. We broadcast every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on WYTV7.org. Check out the broadcast. set station to see what we're doing in the community. Check it out. See if there's something that's in there that you can share with someone else. For my channel, Simply Fit, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our broadcasts. Until next week, guys. See you later. Bye. Mwah.